Alright, hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Today I'm going to talk about a new change that T-Mobile just made that now you can find out what quality of 5G coverage you get. You know, their coverage map has not been very good in the past. I'll show you how you can get to an updated one that will tell you exactly what type of quality you get. Now, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you here on the screen a couple places that explain 5G um, in layman's terms, right? And now, the, the most basic is a lot of some people get confused about 5G cellular and 5 gigahertz Wi Fi. Those are completely separate uh, things. So, we're going to talk just about the uh, cell based signal that gets from the tower to your 5G um, home internet gateway or a phone. And the important thing to know here is the different carriers have kind of taken different approaches to how they are going to go and get um, bandwidth out there. And if you read directly from T-Mobile, and now of course it's probably biased a little bit, but I'll, I'll put some links to these um, places in the video description, you can see them yourself. But basically, you know, what T-Mobile has done is, in my opinion, they have targeted the right deployment for 5G. You know, AT&T really has been um, more focused on 4G and, you know, T-Mobile calls them out right here. It says AT&T was focused on marketing 4G as if it were 5G. And Verizon has really been focused on this millimeter wave 5G, which is really high frequency. It's good for urban environments, but it can't penetrate walls. And you literally have to have these little micro towers at every street corner in order to keep a signal going because the higher the frequency a signal is, the worse it is at penetrating. So then T-Mobile, uh, counter to both what at and Verizon have done, on um, the latest buy-up from FCC, the FCC sells bandwidth of, um, you know, of the airspace, basically. And so only a certain uh, user can buy a given bandwidth in there. And so T-Mobile has done a lot of spending on this mid-band. And mid-band... The benefit of it is that it can travel much further than millimeter wave, but it has much faster speeds than the extended range stuff like 4G. So, you know, the way they try to explain it to you, and I guess it kind of makes sense, is they call it a layer cake. And so if you look at the bottom um, foundation of that cake, that's low band, so lower frequency uh, nationwide that can penetrate through trees and buildings and you can get out um, you know from a single tower you can cover a large area but it doesn't have a lot of capacity so that's 3g and 4g and low band 5g then next is this mid band and that one is great for a majority of um, locations around the u.s and then really just dense urban is this millimeter wave so we're going to talk about this yellow color here that T-Mobile has been focusing on and now they actually show you where you get that mid band versus low band on their network before they, they did not differentiate and in fact their 5G coverage map was really inaccurate from what I saw alright um, and then also if you're curious before I show you the map here is T-Mobile lays out exactly what frequencies they have and if it's this extended range 4G LTE or if it's their 5G uh, stuff now if you look at their mid band really the best frequency for 5g mid band is in the 1 to 6 gigahertz range so t-mobile's main mid band is really really this n41 spectrum that uh, delivers fast speed and yet still good coverage if you start going down into the 600 700 megahertz that's really um, not as fast but it does penetrate uh, better through buildings, trees, terrain, that kind of stuff. But, so here's their updated coverage map. And in the past, like I said, it did not have this little detail. So let's zoom in. This is southeast Michigan here. Um, but so you can see what they have. You can flip on and off 5G in the top left here. And that will, you know, this gives you kind of more like what the old map showed. It was just a very broad. And then if you clicked in a certain spot, it would uh, tell you, in fact, this one doesn't even tell me. Um, well, it used to tell you 
if you got excellent, fair, good coverage, but it looks like it's not even telling us that now. So they changed that as well. Anyways, the 5G is the one we care about. So let's go to that, and then you can see the bottom, the legend, 5G ultra capacity is what you care about. That's their mid-band. And they have all these you know, marketing names. I don't control that. Um, but ultra capacity is really what they mean is this mid-band spectrum. The extended range stuff is the low band. So it's still good, it's not bad, but you're gonna get more like good 4G LTE speed, you know, maybe 100, 150 megabytes per second download, whereas you go into the ultra capacity, now you're talking about uh, hundreds of megabytes per second, and it can also handle a lot more users at the same time. So when you zoom in here, you can see these different areas, and if you look at them, most of them look kind of like a, um, I don't know, like a star, you know, pattern and that's because each tower has cells and they point them three different ways. But then the further you get away, these are like, you know, cone shaped um, coverage areas. So um, that's why you see this kind of shape. And the other thing is terrain can affect it as well. But so you can zoom in here and you can see what places get it and what places don't. And it's it, they're definitely way more accurate than they had been before. Now, instead of just this big sea of thing, they're actually trying to do, you know, these pixel sizes. I mean, they look like, I don't know what size they are, but, you know, a couple hundred feet, you know, of, um, of accuracy. So that's, that's not bad. I have to test it and see, uh, you know, how close it is. If you guys um, go look at your house and see what your coverage is, put a comment below and let me know if this is working for you or not. If you're getting the right coverage, you can check out my other videos that show you how you can see which band you're connected to on the T-Mobile home internet. And you can go and look and see if you're this N71, N41 band. Make sure you use the web GUI to, to do that. Um, you can check out my other videos that show you how to do that. But then leave a comment and let me know if it works out better for you guys. It seems to be way more accurate and I'm glad they improved it. So thanks for watching, guys.